Life moves in small circles. Sometimes we move for work, for college, or find a new setting to start over, or a new chapter in your life. Sometimes you have to leave family and friends behind, leaving a part of your heart with them. I know I have missed important moments that I know would have otherwise become lifetime memories. Only to come full circle so that I wouldn't miss them again. I moved back to California from New York. I was working at Columbia University. I lived all over the city over the course of 10 years off and on. I was exploring my curiosity with new parks and hidden spots and just loved the energy of the city. I lived in Chicago as well, where I experienced some of the best views in my life. Whether it was at Lakeshore East or living at the John Hancock Center, it was a gift. An experience that likely will never come back again the same. All of this has brought me perspectives. You go through life, you acquire many things, but as you get older, you decide to let many of them go. The more you have, the more has you. So what does it take to live slowly? It starts with intentionality, choosing how we spend every moment, who we bring into our life, and who we distance ourselves from. We have this freedom. To understand what you need, you must understand yourself and what is important to you. The interior design of your career and life is about surrendering. Surrendering to who you are and the situations that bring out the best in you. Designing what inspires you and helps you dream your own definition of a well-lived life. It's synchronicity. You manifest it from thoughts in a career and life vision. Achieving this has to do with compassion, but not just compassion for others, but for yourself. It's not about achieving happiness, as how do you know when it's really enough? The goalposts keep moving. Instead, it's just about becoming a little happier every single day. Progress, not perfection. You see, happiness is found in the truth when you acknowledge the story that is actually happening. You accept it, the truth, the story you tell yourself about yourself, not the story that someone else says about you, but the true story. Not your real self, R-E-E-L, self, but your real self, R-E-A-L. The truth is in the details. In your reflection, happiness is living the truth, living fully and truly who you are. I always say start with learning, then you will learn to love whatever it is, if it's the right thing for you. Learning about yourself, being alone with your thoughts, so that you can hear your inner voice. Establishing daily habits as they are important to keep the happy moments moving. Little things as simple as a cup of coffee or taking a walk in the park, they might put you at ease and make you feel happier. Then there's a deep sense of purpose and meaning. What inspires you to keep going no matter the circumstances? Life will change. We will change with our surroundings. How many of you know that your DNA changes? Yes, it changes with the environment. Your cells change. In fact, more cells can be created that can detect danger or 
increase focus. A memory can even be carried to offspring. Environmental events and life changes humans. It's an undeniable truth. Think about it. We were all children who had crayons and coloring books at one point. We were all artists of our own lives. But then, life gave us a social mask and a new single underlying reality that wasn't the one we wanted. But can we change it? Of course we can. Intentionality can change our environment. You can shift your direction, adjust your compass, and change the narrative about yourself. Rewrite your story. Change your destiny. Stories guide us. They frame not only our past, but how we foresee the future. Happiness is a destination, but joy is a journey. There is a power in understanding and owning that story. It's yours. Our lives are like movies. Maybe we didn't choose the initial setting, but there are many scenes still left. Many more to choose from. You can change the script and build the critical or final scene that also reveals the true meaning of the film, of your life. What's your story? You can leave the former self-portrait and embrace what you are being guided towards. Crystallize new experiences, personalize your space, and make it your own retreat. The narrative we choose is in our control. Trials are tests that unveil our own individual uniqueness. It becomes clear who you really are.